uh, chapter 9 is on uni- inequalities introduction to inequalities so i think uh, basic uh, ideas idea you have right yes okay so let us try some problems okay just uh, to okay so the thing is suppose uh, x is greater than y and you have a positive right so then it, it implies that x a is greater than y a why it is true uh because it w- a would multiply both of them by the same factor mm yes no, but why uh, a greater than 0 is needed means uh, if a, is- uh, a greater than 0 is needed because if you multiply by a negative number then it would make x uh smaller than y eventually mm yes means uh, means uh, intuitively it's correct uh, but the thing is that is what we want to show right that if we multiply by positive quantity uh, spot a positive scalar on both sides the inequality sign remains unchanged so that is what we want to show right so mathematically how will you write or okay let me tell you this one so x greater than y yes so x greater than y so this will imply that x minus y is positive right yes uh so x minus y is positive so now uh, since uh, since a is also positive so product of two things will be still positive right yes right so now you get x a minus y a is uh, positive and from here you get x a is greater than y right ah oh, okay i see so here from here the next uh, the step will differ if uh, a is negative then uh, when you multiply by a positive and a negative quantity the sign changes so from here the step will differ if a was negative okay okay i see yes so now one more uh, one more observation is so instead of strict inequality uh, if we have this relaxed one x is greater than equals to y and uh, other one is same a is greater than uh, strictly greater than 0 then also this inequality is also uh, relaxed x a is greater than equals to y okay okay right so yes so this is fine so now the natural question uh, there is a generalization to this question that we can ask is so suppose a and b are two positive co- I means two quantities let me write down so suppose x y a b all are positive and you have x greater than y and you have a greater than b so both of the things you have so the thing is the let us see what happens so can we say that x a is greater than y b that is the first condition and the second condition is x divided by a is greater than y divided by b so can we say any one of them yes we can say that x a is greater than y b yes how will you say that um so since y and b are both less than x and a respectively Mm, y and b okay mm. so if you multiply the, the two lesser numbers hmm, i'm not sure how to do it algebraically yes let me tell you the thing is uh, okay so the uh, since a is positive by the previous uh, inequality what you learned so x uh, greater than y and a positive that will give me uh, ax is greater than ay right yes okay so now uh, the thing is next one is a greater than b 
and y positive so this will give me ay is greater than a by so now combining these two inequalities what i have is ax greater than ay greater than by so i get ax greater than by ah uh, okay so that's why uh, here this condition is needed that all x y a b are positive that's why because if you remember uh, in the previous one about x and y nothing is said right only we yeah. require a positive so I, i want to apply this one that's why i need x y all of them positive then only i can say right so maybe later you can uh, play around that if what happens uh, if we have Uh, other combinations maybe mm -hmm. later you can check on yourself so if some uh, if some of the conditions are relaxed then can you say something right yes so okay. so, so this one is fine what about the next one So we can say if x is greater than y and right. a is greater than x. Mm, okay. And then if b uh, was less than y. Okay. We can set up that to disprove that. Yes, yes. So first of all, uh, you are claiming that it is not correct, right? Yes. 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 So the thing is, uh, when you have to show uh, a particular thing is not correct, then as example is sufficient. So you can just uh, create an example. So while proof, we have to do the general proof, but while disproving, we can just give an example. So, oh. Okay. Yes. Just choose x, y, a, b. How how you are uh, you are saying? Uh so if x was two and then y was one. Okay. And then if A was three and then B was uh, half. Okay. So let us check. Then when you do X over A, you get two thirds, and Y over B, you get two. Right. So this one is less than. Okay. So this one is uh, not true, right? Yes. Okay. All right. So uh, here also, uh, the thing is, uh, yes. If the conditions, if we relax a bit, if we have the equality sign, that is, uh, suppose x greater than equals to y, uh, strictly greater than zero, and A is also greater than equals to B, basically greater than zero. So this will imply that X A is greater than equals to Y. B. Okay. Okay. Right. So the next one is suppose uh, A is any uh, positive integer. Right. And then, uh, if we compare seven power a and five power a, so obviously seven uh, power a is bigger, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, so, yes, that is intuitively that you can see, but uh, mathematically, how will you say that? Hmm.
so yeah the thing is we have to show that for any positive integer a 7 power a will be uh, strictly greater than 5 power a yes I'm not too sure on how I would show the algebraic. Yes, the thing is, uh, we'll uh, use a step by step method. So uh, seven is uh, greater than strictly greater than five, right? Yes. And that is greater than zero. And uh, we again take seven greater than five greater than zero. So if you recall, it is from the previous problem. This is x. This is y. This is a. This is b. Right. From the previous uh, inequality, what I have. I have seven square is greater than five square, right? X A is strictly greater than Y B. Yes. Oh, okay. Right. X A is greater than Y B. So now, uh, now we can proceed like this in a recursive step. So now I can take seven square greater than five square, and again seven greater than five. Then I'll get seven cube greater than five cube, and like this we can continue. So we can uh, continue a times like this. Uh, to get that seven power a is strictly greater than five power. Okay. Okay. So that's why uh, the a is integer that is needed. So the next thing is, what can we say about uh, a th root of seven and a th root of five, where uh, a is a positive integer? I belongs to my children. So which one will be greater? What can I say? So we can say uh, the a root of seven is like seven to the power of one over a. Yes. And then for five, we can say it's five to the power of one over a. All right. And using the same logic that seven uh, is bigger than five, bigger than zero. Okay. We can say that seven to the power of one over half is greater than five to the power of one over half. Uh, yes. How will you get that? Means what is your x y and what is your a b? From that seven greater than five, you have to choose a b, right? Such that you get half seven power half. How will you get? Uh. No, from you would get the seven squared bigger than five squared, but two is essentially one over one over two. Mm, no, 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 I don't get you. So uh, you get seven square is greater than five square, right? This much you are saying. Yes. Then after that, what are you doing? Two it uh, can also equate to one over half. Right. It is greater than five one one half. So how does it help? Doesn't that help prove? No, that will not prove, right? Because uh, if you are particularly seeing for a equals to two, then I have to prove that seven power half is greater than five power half. If if that is the claim, but that does not come from here, right? Okay.
I don't know, Ben. That was my idea on how to prove it. Yes. So the thing is, we can. Uh, so since we are thinking that uh, seven power one by a will be bigger, right? So yes, we can assume the opposite thing. That suppose uh, five power one by a is bigger, then we can arrive at a contradiction that no, it is not possible. Right? So the thing is, uh, so we can take uh, this quantity, seven uh, power one by a. So this is my x. I can take, right? Yes. And this is my y. I can take. So now I know that both of them are positive. That is fine. So now by the first, uh, by the previous result, what I have is. Uh, this uh, raised to our any uh, positive integer that is greater than y raised to that same positive integer, right? Yes. Right. So suppose uh, we assume that uh, seven power one by a is uh, less than five power one by a. So that will imply that if I raise to power a, that then the inequality will still remain same, right? It's less than five power one by a whole power a. But that will give me that seven is less than five, so that is uh, not possible, right? So other way around has to be true. So hence, that seven power one by a is strictly greater than five power one by. A. Okay. Oh, okay. Fine. Yes, fine. Right. Okay, so the thing is, uh, yes, model is the thing, and then one more observation is, uh, so here, instead of uh, five and seven, you have means they are giving the thing to study for five and seven, but uh, suppose I have for any x greater than equals to y, and a is a positive integer, right? So then, can we say that so a belongs to suppose natural number? Then can you say that a x power a is greater than equals to y power a? Is it true? Yes. Mm, think about it. X and y, you don't have any restriction. On the relation between them is x is greater than equals to y. Yes. Yes, so uh, hint is uh, it will be no, but only the thing is you have to find an example. Yes, I don't see it though. Okay, so for example, yes, so of course, uh, if you think uh, both positive, you will not get an example. You have to think of one positive and one negative, then only you will get an example. So, suppose if I take uh, two is uh, greater than a uh, minus three, right? And if I take a equals to two, then you have four and you have nine, right? So that will not work. Ah, uh, okay. Right? Yes. Right. So this is the thing. Okay, so yes, so this is obvious, but just for a point. So suppose x is any real number, uh, then uh, x square is always uh, positive, right? Is greater than equals to zero, right? Yes. Right. So that is obvious that you can uh, check. 
okay so now if uh, So the next observation is uh, so suppose uh, x and y are positive numbers and you have x strictly greater than y then what can we say about 1 by x and 1 by y what is the relation between them one over y would be greater than 1 over x. All right. So 1 over y will be? Greater so, than 1 over x. Yes, yes. So how will you prove that? Yes, by intuition we have that, but uh, yes, how algebraically will you prove that? The thing is, uh, only mm -hmm. whatever properties we have seen till now will help. Uh, we could disprove that 1 over x is greater than 1 over y. Okay, try it. Tell me how to do When disproving, uh, for to prove another, am I yes. able to use values to disprove? No, 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 no. Disprove okay. also, uh, yes, because uh, you are actually saying it is a contradiction, right? So that is also in general sense. Only uh, when it is false, you can give a counter example. Okay. So if we were to say that 1 over x is greater than 1 over y, okay, that means if we divide, uh, multiply both sides by x, y, we okay. would come out that y is greater than x. But that is impossible because it says that x is greater than y. Yes, yes. That is, uh, yes, that is fine. That we can do. But uh, the same thing uh, we can do in the forward direction also. Uh, but just to have to write the steps correctly. The thing is, uh, x is uh, greater than y, and uh, 1 by x is a positive quantity, right? Yes. Okay. Because x is positive. So I can uh, multiply both uh, on both sides, and I have x is uh, uh, 1 is greater than y by x. Right? Uh, so using, yes. yes, you understood it, how I'm getting? Yes. Right. So now uh, this inequality, 1 greater than y by x, and 1 by y is a positive quantity that we can multiply on both sides to get 1 by y greater than 1 by x. Okay. Okay. Right. So this is the thing. So yes, so same idea. So if you have the relaxed inequality that... Okay, so yes, uh, so this is positive. What happens if uh, both are negative? Means uh, x and y both are uh, negative, then what will happen? We would have 1 over x is greater than 1 over y. 1 over x, no. Think about it. 
so the thing is uh, you can check that uh, you can see, you can see that we are using two inequalities right yes so, yes so the thing is uh, from one in one equality to other inequality it will change the direction or when we again apply it will again change the direction that's why it will remain fixed so let me show you so x is greater than y and now i have 1 by x is strictly less than 0 right so this will give me 1 is less than y by x now one is less than y by x and again one by y is less than zero so now the inequality will again reverse one by y is greater than one by x okay because of the uh, two things uh, two sets of inequalities we are using so that's why it will swap in the middle and again come back to the original thing. Okay. Mm. Not clear. One second, sorry. Uh, let me just look at it really quick. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, I see. All right. So that's why I wrote the steps for the previous one also because that it will be easier to visualize. So these two things are fine. So in conclusion, what I can get uh, is so so for any uh, x and y, uh, if x is uh, greater than y and uh, x comma y are same sign. So that is either both are positive or both negative, right? then yes i have one by x or less than one by y right so in the same line if you relax the inequality x is greater than y and the remaining conditions are same then one by x is less than equals to one by y okay okay all right So what happens if uh, they are not of same sign? So suppose y is negative and x is positive, then what will happen? So next is? The one that is negative would be, would always be smaller. Yes, can we say that? So the question is what happens to one by x and one by y?
Mm, I'm quite confused. So I did when one over x is greater than one over y. Okay. When mm. x is greater than zero. Right. No, the thing is, uh, the thing oh, is. Oh wait, that, wait! I cannot, I cannot use that in in the quality. Of yes, proof. that you cannot use. Yes. So I think uh, this one will not hold. So yeah, I think you have to just find an example, a counter example. You have to find. Oh. Okay. Oh, so uh, when x equals 1 and y equals negative 1? Mm. Yes, like, yes. Uh, yes, I understand. So, yes, that will, uh, that will work. Yes. I was trying to prove it. Yes, so the reciprocal after taking it is uh, still intact. So, first, uh, just to make, a, make the example look non-trivial. So I can take, suppose 5 is greater than minus half, right? Now if you uh, take the reciprocal, so 1 by 5 is still greater than minus 2. Right? Yes. Yes. So in this case, that inequality will not work. Okay. So now some more observations. So suppose uh, you have x less than equals to y and also you have x greater than equals to y. So from here what can you conclude? x is equal to y? Right. x is equal to y. And suppose a is uh, greater than equals to b and b is greater than equals to c so what is the relation between a and c a is greater than or equal to c mm, think about it is equality possible oh a is greater than c sir right so a is uh, strictly greater than c right. now suppose uh, x is uh, greater than y strictly greater than zero and you have a is strictly greater than b is strictly greater than zero so what can we say about x by b and y by a x by b would be greater than y by a y Because since you have x greater than y greater than zero and a greater than b greater than zero, right? You can find that x a is greater than y b. Just one minute. So from here you get um, x a is greater than y b, right? And then dividing a b from both sides right you can get x b greater than y by right okay so this one by x thing is uh, we did for negative yes both we did for So now, uh, suppose we have uh, the power, uh, integer power, but that is negative. So what can we say about 7 power minus 2 and 5 power minus 2? Which one is greater? Uh, 5 power minus 2 is greater than 7 power and minus 2. Okay, how?
we can disprove uh, uh, 7 to the power of negative 2 greater than 5 to the power of negative 2 by putting both sides to the power of negative half. Mm, but uh, negative half still we don't know, right? We only know integer powers, right? Uh, that uh, integer, the fractional power, what we did, that we know only for positive, right? Till now we don't know that, right? So I think this is not much difficult. So you can uh, just do from the condition you know that 7 square is greater than 5 square, right? And that is positive. Now just use the reciprocal thing, right? So 7 power minus 2 is nothing but 1 by 7 square, right? Ah, uh, okay. Right? Yes. Yes, so what do you have from here? 7 square is greater than 5 square. So? So the... So I have uh, 1 by uh, 7 square is less than 1 by 5 square, right? Right? Oh. Oh, yes, because reciprocal of a greater number would make it less. Oh. Okay. Yes. Right. So in general, I will do so. So suppose uh, x and y are two uh, positive things. So suppose is greater than y uh, strictly greater than 0 and a is a negative integer so x power a and y power a yes oh, sorry y power a so we'll prove that that x power a will be less than y power a. So if we put x greater than y greater than zero right. all to the power of a, right. we can say uh, it's it would say x oh wait. I'm not sure then. Right. So let me give you a head start. So suppose A is a negative integer, right? So I can write it as A equals to some minus B, right? Where B is positive. Okay. So now uh, x greater than y greater than 0 and b is a positive integer that is b belongs to a natural number. So this gives you what? 
एक्स पावर बी ग्रेटर देन वाई ओके एंड वाई पावर बी ग्रेटर देन दिस इज जीरो राइट सो नाउ यू कैन जस्ट अप्लाई एसी प्रोवर सो इट्स 1 बाय एक्स पावर बी इज लेस देन 1 बाय वाई पावर बी राइट सो दैट इज नथिंग बट एक्स पावर माइनस बी इज लेस देन वाई पावर माइनस बी बट माइनस बी इज आवर ए Ah, okay. Right. So it's clear. Yes. Right. Okay. So now let's try a few problems. So trying the problem number nine point nine. So the first part they are saying which number is larger, root three or root? Root three is larger. Right. Root three is larger. And second part is. So if we compare between uh, six root two and two root three, which one is larger? Six root two. Okay. Why? Uh, if you put six into the radical, you'd get root seventy-two, and then two into the radical, you get root twelve. So root seventy-two greater than root twelve. Right. So now the third part is. Uh, if you take root over of three, root over of. Six root two, and you take the other way around. So then, which one is? The six two three one would be larger. Okay, how we are saying? Uh, if you combine it all into the rightmost uh, radical, okay, you get seventy two squared times three for si the six two three. One minute. Uh, rightmost radical mean? Uh, meaning the uh, all under the root three radical. Okay, but uh, that will be uh, like this. You are saying so, like this. Yes. Okay, what will be that? It would be seventy-two squared times three. Okay. And then the other would be fifty-four squared times two under those three root radicals. Fifty-four. Fifty-four squared times two. Okay. Yes. So from here we can say. Yes. This this is fine. Uh, but uh, the general one idea is so if we uh, square a number, then the inequality is not reversed, right? Because the sign remains unchanged, right? If the positive yes. positive numbers you have. Right, both remains positive, right? Yes. So you can square both sides. So like that also you can do. Uh, you can square both sides and uh, get 
this idea only this will only you will get and you have to compare the yes this one is fine so you will get uh, this is less than this one right so next one is okay so we have we know that um, if i have two different quantities k and b and powers powers are same right then i can compare uh, seeing whether a is uh, greater than b and then we can compare that one right and similarly uh, if a and uh, the base is same and the powers are different then also you can compare right yeah uh, but the question is what will happen if all of them are different the base and power both are different then how will you compare right so the thing is the next question is based on that so 2 power 300 and uh, 3 power 200 so this how will you compare sorry what did you say no this how will you compare which one is greater that is what i'm saying oh okay so here directly uh, uh 3 power 200 would be greater why uh because you can convert 2 power 300 to 8 power 100 right and then 3 power 200 to 9 power 100 Mm, yes so that is the idea so the thing is uh, you have to either bring the base same or the power same right otherwise we don't know any technique to compare it so that is what i want yeah. to talk right so suppose you have one more thing suppose 4 power 125 means you have then which one will be bigger uh so 3 power 200 yes would be oh wait yes oh, 3 power 200 uh, will be still the larger that is fine but where will you position 4 power and then 4 uh 4 power 125 would be the smallest yes how how it is uh, because 2 power 300 can be changed to 4 power 150 yes that is uh, that is the idea or you can also do uh, you can change this one also to 2 power something right so yes. i think it will be how much 2 power it will be 2 power 250 right so that also you can do so so this one will be lying here okay so this more or less the idea so understood it right? whatever we did today yes okay so maybe today we'll stop here then tomorrow we'll do okay okay bye bye bye